All right, guys. So I just want to ask you a question, and the question is: Is that? And my mom says, "Would you rather go to church and read the Word of God, the Bible? Because the Bible is the Word of God. It's not just a holy book. It's the holy book of God, and all the stories in it are true, 100 percent. And just may I add this in the video? Let you know that." There is not one man or woman or child in the Bible that was perfect, that was good, because all have sinned to come short of the glory of God. But the good news is, is that, that's the bad news, but the good news is that God's glory will not come short from us, because He wants us to have glory in heaven. He wants us to have eternal life and have it more abundantly, as Jesus preached about when He was on earth. And Jesus said that, I come that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly, as it is written in the Bible. And whether it's in the Bible or not, what Jesus said is 100% true. Whether it's in the Bible or not, Jesus said it, it's true 100%. You can't twist the Word of God around. And if you try to do that, that is a sin, because you're lying. And lying is also a sin. The Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not lie, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not fornicate, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not murder, thou shalt not covenant, thou shalt have no other gods before God, thou shalt not take the Lord's name in vain, honor your mother and father, don't commit false accusations against thy neighbor, because false accusations will mean you're lying. Line. That's all a sin. Don't commit greed. You know, don't do things you're not supposed to. And if you love Jesus, keep his commandments. It's so easy, guys. Easy peasy. It's so easy. And Christianity is not forceful. It's easy. You just have to follow the rules and give your life to Christ, Jesus. And...